I'm the right woman for this job. I believe that. And that is why you are officially my counsel. Yes. <laughs> Alongside co-counsel, of course. Co-counsel. I hear there's a young man who I should consider. Miss Marie, I assure you, I am the best this firm has to offer. We'll see about that. Okay, so it's kind of a running gag in certain Tyler Perry shows where, let's say, a character has a defined uh, title. This is a nurse. This is a police officer. This is a firefighter. This is a judge. This is a divorce lawyer. This is a tax attorney and so on and so forth. But as time goes on within a show, we typically see a character in one specific role handed situations to work on that a person of their field shouldn't work on because that's not their expertise. But in this case, you know, we're talking about Hayden. For example, I think that um, in universe with Tima clap back at Hayden when, you know, he was representing Heather to get Zach for child support. You're a tax attorney, Hayden. Hey, I'll be whatever I need to be in order to get back at that bastard boyfriend of yours. So um, I feel like, you know, in the case of Hayden working with uh, Marie for her divorce, it actually makes sense because I did a little research uh, during the live last night. Some people even pointed this out. Um, and then I looked it up. This is coming from the law office of David A. King because I just typed into Google do tax attorneys work on divorce cases. Once a divorce is finalized, it could be pretty difficult if not impossible to make changes to certain settlements in regards to your taxes. Early timing is critical to ensure that you and your tax attorney have reviewed every marital asset individually to avoid unwanted outcomes and cost. Now, Marie told Andy that, look, you know what? I want you on my case, but also I want a co-counsel by an upstanding young man in this office who I've gotten, you know, recommend, you know, I got recommendations for Hayden. Hayden Moss, a.k.a. tax attorney. So, yeah, it makes sense why you have Andy working on the case with the divorce because Marie said, I want it all. I want to make sure this husband, this deadbeat gets none of my money. So it kind of makes sense. You got Andy working one angle on her end and then you got Hayden working the financial side on his end. And I think it makes sense. And I mean, um, despite the rivalry and stuff, I think this is pretty smart. She is a billionaire and I make I think that she's making every you know, move possible in order to make sure she comes out of her divorce as without losing a cent. Now, why in the world is Hayden on the case now? Well, keep in mind that Gary spent time downplaying Andy's skills because of her reputation around the office, which Marie, she did say, hey, I'm not going to judge you. I had my fun back in the day, but you don't shit where you eat. Basically, like, you know, you're working here. Don't get involved with inner office politics, a.k.a. screwing everything that moves, especially the higher ups. So basically, you got Gary who was helping Hayden, you know, by helping him get a big fish on his line. So someone of Miss Marie or excuse me, Marie's caliber would be essential to helping him secure the position of partner at the law firm. Now, the question is, will these two butt heads or what's going to happen? Because in the... uh Mid-season finale synopsis, it states that Andy is forced to work with her worst nightmare. So it seems that these two are probably going to try to one-up each other. But And I'm not saying they need to be friends. I'm not saying that. But I feel like... And look, people... And I'm not vouching for Hayden. But at the same time, I will say that... Put aside how you feel about Hayden as a character. This man is good at his job. He's one of the best. I mean... He even, you know, boasted to uh, Robin that, you know, look, if you check the uh, books, I'm the attorney that brought in the most revenue into the law firm. And then Robin's like, yeah, in the last quarter. <laughs> but still, I was the top dog. So he knows what he's doing. It's just like when uh he confronted Tamara at the end of season six about who she really is. And she's like, well, I'm going to take it all. I'm going to get my lawyers. And I, and I know some lawyers I've screwed around with. And I'm thinking to myself. Tamara, you might underestimate this dude, but Hayden knows what he's doing when it comes to law. So I think that if Andy and Hayden work together, they could make one hell of a team. But obviously that's not going to happen. But my thing is, 
they better do the best job possible because I think that if they end up blowing it by trying to outdo each other as opposed to working together, they could lose Maria as a client and then neither one of them will make partner. That's what I'm thinking. This is that this is giving me Goku and Vegeta vibes where Goku's like, Vegeta, we have to work together. No. And then they both get their asses kicked unless they fuse or something. I think that if Andy and Hayden work together, they could be a hell of a team. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, I've made some outlandish, you know, out there theories like, hey, I vouch for Pam and Aaron to be a thing. And Hayden, I think his character is written better than Zack this season and, you know, so on and so forth. But I'm just saying, I think these two could work together pretty nicely. But again, egos come into play and that's that. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, Do you think that Gary's words were a reason why Marie opted to do a co-counsel with Andy as opposed to putting it all on her shoulders? Or do you think that maybe she did her own research and found out that, you know, this dude giving a sales pitch is actually one of the best there is. So what do you think? And do you think they can succeed with getting Miss Marie or excuse me, Marie drop the miss <laughs> Marie's uh, money in the settlement or not? So like, and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.